Here's a look at the stories making news at this hour. I'm Erin Kennedy. A tragic end to an hours long standoff in Orlando, Florida. A man killed himself and four children who he took hostage. Laura Podesta reports from New York. Police in Orlando, Florida say this man, Gary Lindsay Jr., killed his two children and his girlfriend's two children before taking his own life Monday night. A short time ago, we made entry into the apartment and found that um, uh, or all four children have been killed by the suspect by apparent gunshot wounds. Investigators say Lindsay barricaded himself inside this apartment Sunday following a domestic dispute with his girlfriend. They had direct and indirect contact with him until 9 p.m. Monday when SWAT officers entered the home and found Lindsay and the children deceased. Police say during the hostage situation, Lindsay also shot Orlando police officer Kevin Valencia. Seen here in multiple mug shots, Lindsay was a convicted felon on supervised probation for an arson conviction. Laura Podesta, CBS News, New York. And now here's meteorologist Megan Glaros with your forecast. Hey there, everybody. I'm meteorologist Megan Glaros. We're in for a chance of an isolated shower today. Still rather cloudy, but... Temperature wise should be getting up into the 80s today. So a little bit warmer. It'll be a hair cooler near the lakefront still today and tomorrow, but we should be in the 80s all the way through Friday going up into the 90s for Father's Day weekend. So if dad wants to do something outdoors, golf or whatever, it's going to be hot and it's going to be sticky both Saturday and Sunday. We are going to have a chance of a few scattered showers and storms moving into Friday and Saturday. So a bit active towards the end of this week, but generally speaking, we should be in the 80s for most of the next several days.